hi children and hi everyone in previous class i mean in previous video i explained about the properties of electric field lines and definition of electric flux and when the electric flux is maximum when the electric flux is minimum we discussed that topic in the previous video today i am going to explain about the today's topic is when an dielectric dipole when a electric dipole is placed in uniform electric field and non uniform electric field then what happen in those two situations that is the today's topic for us here you know that what is a dipole what is mean by electric dipole electric dipole is nothing but that should be having two equal and opposite charges must be separated by some distance that is the electric dipole so children today's topic is very important especially for ip examinations there is one four marks question is there derive the expression for couple acting on electric dipole when it is in uniform electric field that's why you have to watch the video without skipping and you have to watch the video very carefully so here you know that what is dipole dipole is nothing but what is that here this is a minus q charge and this is a plus q charge here two equal charges equal charges in magnitude and they should be separated by some distance now it is called a dipole it is called a dipole if you can place this dipole in uniform electric field then how it can be acts and what is mean by torque in first year maybe i think so you learn tau is equals to r cross f tau means what torque how we can define the torque vector product of position vector and force that should be called here torque simply the perpendicular the product of perpendicular distance between two forces and one of the force of the magnitude is called generally torque so here now so in first year maybe you learn what is that tau is equals to r cross f here r is the perpendicular distance and f is the force the product of these two what we call torque that means here torque tau is equals to r cross f clear it is the vector quantity vector quantity generally how we can say this is the one object one object on that object there are two equal forces one should be acts vertically downwards and one should be acts vertically upwards when two equal amount of forces acting in different directions these two forces must be acts at different points on the object clear when two equal forces acting on the body at different places then they will make some couple or torque so generally we know about fine first year you have one example it is there look here now this is the one water tap so this is the tap water tap here to move the or to rotate the tap we must be turn like this we have to hold the tap and we have to apply the force at two ends like this at this point we have to rotate and at this point we have to rotate the same thing clear we are rotating the tap should be like this so this finger applies the force and this finger also applies the force on the tap at two different positions clear when they are applying at two different positions then only the tap will move is it possible to move the tap with one finger even though it is possible it is very difficult to move we have to apply the more force but actually it is not possible to move tap by with one finger so to to make them very simple we have to move the tap by applying forces at two different position with our two fingers so like that here couple is nothing but two forces acting on the body then the body should be tries to move in the direction of the net force direction of the net force 
so clear now let us go into topic here so we have a lot of examples for the torque for doors also we have some knob it is there knob to open the door to close the door we have to apply the force at two different positions got children so i think so i i felt that you have learned in so many examples in first year so i am now directly going to the top here today topic is what electric dipole in a uniform external field uniform external field clear electric dipole in a uniform electrical field so here there is one diagram is there just again i am drawing that one here this is the uniform electric field how we can represent the uniform electric field what is mean by uniform electric field in any electric field the electric field intensity is same at every point both in magnitude and direction if the electric field intensity is same throughout the field then that field is what we call uniform electric field with the help of the uniform electric mean with the help of the electric field lines how we can represent the electric uniform electric field simply in previous video i explained how we can identify the electric field whether it is uniform or non uniform electric field with the help of electric field lines simply if the electric field lines are all are in the same direction and they should be separated by the equal distances now that should be considered as uniform electric field just listen here so here i am showing that this is the all are the electric field lines and all are in same direction all are in same direction that's why this electric field can be treated as uniform electric field clear uniform electric field and now here i am taking that this is a direction of electric field this is what direction of electric field in that uniform electric field now we want to bring two charges and now it is the minus q charge and this is a plus q charge and they are separated by some distance they are separated by some distance that's why here what i am telling that is the dipole electric dipole two equal charges are separated by some distance and now here in this case we are considering that the length of the dipole is 2a what is that length of the dipole is what 2a clear 2a is the length of the dipole clear so already we know that we have one equation is there what is the electric field intensity if you can keep any charge in the electric field of some other charges then the force experienced by the charge what we call electric field intensity we know that electric field intensity what it is e is equals to f by q what's that e is equals to f by q clear when e is equals to f by q means what here there is some force experienced by the charge when it is placed in the electric field how much is f clear we know that e is equals to f by q electric field intensity means that the force experienced by the charge when it is placed in an electric field so from that what you write f is equals to q e what is f is equals to q e this amount of force acting on the charge particular q like that here when look at the diagram here plus q is there minus q is there when the plus q is there that should be in the electric field that's why there is some force acting on the that particular one is i am reading f1 clear f1 is what amount of force acting on the plus q charge and similarly what is minus uh, minus q it is there so here in this diagram it was showing like this f2 that's why i am here also i am showing that is f2 and now on minus q and also some charge it is there some force is there that should be showing here f1 clear so according to this one e is equals to f by q here what is f1 force acting on minus charge q and what is f2 force acting on the plus q charge so what is the general equation actually f is equals to qe then means what for f1 means what you have tried 
F1 charge into electric field intensity. Already here, what is the electric field intensity? V. E. And what is the charge? Minus Q. That's why here F1 is minus Q into E. F1 is minus Q into E. Clear. And similarly, what is F2 here? Charge into electric field intensity. That's why here, what is right? F2 is equals to Q into E. Q into E. So, you have to observe that children. What is F1 minus QE and what is F2? QE. Minus QE and QE. If you can consider both are having same magnitude, that is what? F is equals to QE. Here minus represents the here F1 and F2 both are in opposite directions. Both are in opposite directions. That's why here what you have to say F2 is in the direction of electric field and F1 is in opposite direction of electric field. I clearly shown that this E is what electric field intensity. Electric field direction is like this. And now here I already explained in the previous video electric field lines while we are drawing the electric field lines for positive charge it should be radially outward radially outward that's why here we are showing that in case of electric field lines for example this is a positive charge for that electric field lines how we can show that yes like this this is the electric field line that should be radially outward what is that radially outward and if you can consider minus q or minus charge that should be radially inward radially inward that's why here we are showing like this f2 is radially outward and f1 is radially inward that's why both are in opposite directions both are in opposite directions then here now tell me what is the net force here what is net force minus qe plus plus qe that means what net force is zero clear what you observed when a dipole is placed in uniform electric field then the force the amount of force acting on the positive charge and the amount of force acting on the negative charge both will be same and the net force is zero got children net force is zero clear even though net force is zero but the dipole should be move that should be oscillates that should be moves by making some angle theta by making some angle theta so that means here the dipole will make some angle with the what electric field clear children when an electric dipole we consider that should be placed in the uniform electric field then the net the amount of net force on the dipole should be zero but even though the electric field net force is zero i mean dipole electric field is net force is zero but the dipole should be must be wants to oscillates that should be make some angle with the theta with the electric field direction so that's why it is what it called when two equal forces acting on the dipole at different points they are not acting at a same point two forces acting at the two points that should be here nothing but end of the dipole points at the ends of the dipole two forces acting at separate places then the net force is zero even though net force is zero simply the dipole will make some angle with the electric field that means twist that can be twist or curl the dipole will be curl or rotate and they will make some angle with the electric field that is what we call here couple couple formed by the dipole for that we want to derive the equation car children simply here look at the diagram now clear here there is one uniform electric field is there the electric field intensity is e in that electric field we are keeping one dipole of length to a clear here the arrow lines the field lines should be separated by equal distances all are in same direction that's why we can identify this is the uniform electric field 
when we are keeping the electric dipole should be in the uniform electric field there are some forces acting that one here f2 is equals what right qe and f1 is what minus qe minus qe two equal forces acting at two different points then the net force will be zero how we are writing e is equals f by q from the f is equals to q e that's why here f1 is what minus q e and f2 is equals to q e even though the net force is zero the dipole will curl so here that means the, the torque will be created couple nothing but it is torque is generated torque is generated and the torque should be into the plane of paper into the plane of the paper that means according to the right hand thumb rule right hand thumb rule and if you can keep like this if you can keep like this the thumb can indicates the direction of torque direction of torque so i show like this so this is the thumb direction this is what thumb direction and this is the curl torque and here now i am showing this is the direction of electric field what is that direction of electric field the torque which is generated that should be into the plane of paper so we can take the right hand thumb clear and after that now we want to derive the expression for couple or torque couple or torque acting on the dipole most important here now here i am writing that generally the torque can be defined as torque can be defined as torque is equals to perpendicular distance into perpendicular distance into magnitude of force magnitude of force of one charge magnitude of force of one charge torque is equals to perpendicular distance into magnitude of force so in that diagram in that diagram i am taking that the location of minus q is the a and the location of plus b is plus q is b and this is c this is c here we are doing this is a triangle now and this should be angle clear so i am drawing separately this is 2a nothing but length of the dipole it will make some angle theta and this is a and this is b and this is c a b c clear from that i am ready now sin theta is equals to sin theta equals what opposite side by hypotenuse so now this is the 90 here how much angle is there 90 that's what is perpendicular 90 opposite means what hypotenuse and here simply i am ready here this is the hypotenuse and this is the angle and this is the bc is now opposite side that's why i'm writing sin theta equals to bc by what right bc by ab bc by ab that's why here i will write here sin theta is equals to bc by ab nothing but what dipole length that's what you write 2a then bc is equals to what you write 2a into sin theta 2a into sin theta here what is bc bc now perpendicular distance between two charges perpendicular distance between two charges two forces so this is the f2 and this is the f1 and this is what perpendicular distance between these two forces that's why here i am writing tau is equals to tau is equals to perpendicular distance is what bc into magnitude of force is what QE, you have to take magnitude only. That's why here QE we are writing. And now here from that, what you write? I am writing here. Tau is equal to BC into QE. Already I explained the value of BC here, then substitute here, then tau is equal to BC. What it is? 2A sin theta 2a sin theta into what you have qe what you have qe then from that what right here tau is equals to tau is equals to 2a into q i am writing 2a into qe sin theta 
what is that tau is equals to 2a into qe i mean 2a into q and e into sin theta here what is mean by 2a q that is p what is b dipole moment tau is equals to what do i write p e sin theta tau is equals to p e sin theta that implies what do i write tau is equals to p cross e so now tau is nothing but it is vector quantity simply children tau is equals to 2a sin theta q e and 2a into q what is dipole moment dipole moment is what p is equals to 2a into q 2a means what length of the dipole 2a into q that means length of the dipole into magnitude of charge the product of length of the dipole and its magnitude is magnitude of charge is called dipole moment p is equals to 2a q i already explained about the dipole moment and its unit the units and dimension formula in previous videos just watch in previous videos about the dipole moment simply i am writing 2a q instead of 2a q what you have write p then tau is equals to p e sin theta so this is the expression for torque or couple acting on a dipole when it is placed in uniform electric field got children so very important again see once here very simply children watch carefully we are taking some electric dipole in a uniform external field let us consider a dipole of length 2a dipole of length 2a is placed in electric field in the sense of e is as shown in figure then there are two forces acting on the two charges at different places so according to that what you have e is equals to f by q generally it is the expression for electric field intensity according to that we are writing amount of forces acting on the plus q and minus q here simply on positive charge the amount of force is f2 on negative charge amount of force is f1 by using this relation we are writing f1 and f2 values so f1 is minus q and f2 is qe and net net force is what minus qe plus qe net force is zero two equal forces acting at two different points the net force is zero even though net force is zero the dipole will make some couple or torque because of these two equal forces in opposite directions so the amount of couple or torque should be defined as product of perpendicular distance between two forces and magnitude of force this is the general expression for torque torque is equals to perpendicular distance into magnitude of force so in this from this diagram bc should be taken as the perpendicular distance between two forces so to define that value of bc we are taking the triangle now here a b c we are taken from that what do i write sin theta is equals to opposite side by hypotenuse from that bc by ab we are writing from that bc is what bc is equals to here ab value already we are taken that is what length of the dipole to a that's why bc is equals to what right sin theta equals to bc by ab ab means to a then sin theta is equals to bc by 2a is e that implies bc is equals to 2a sin theta that is the perpendicular distance and what do you write perpendicular distance is bc and magnitude of force is what qe we have to substitute here. bc into qe and bc value is 2a sin theta then after we have substituted tau is equals to 2a sin theta into qe then t is equals to 2a q into this one here 2a into q that is what dipole moment simply here p is equals to 2a into q dipole moment that's why here i am writing p is tau is equals to p sin theta this should be also taken as tau is equals to p cross e tau is equals to p cross e so that is a expression for now couple or torque acting on a dipole when it is placed in uniform external field got this point children so in this case from that formula tau is equal to p sin theta from that we have to define the expression for now p we have to define clear children from this formula i am going to define here 
tau is equals to pe sin theta tau is equals to pe sin theta in that formula if you can write e is equals to 1 and theta is equals to 90 theta is equals to 90 then what do you write tau is equals to e so tau is equals to p tau is equals to p clear children tau is equals to p sin theta here what is p dipole moment or electric dipole moment and e is what electric field intensity and theta is equals to what angle between angle made by the dipole with the field that means if you can take unit electric field intensity we are taking the field of unit intensity and the angle is how it is the dipole is perpendicular to the field then the electric dipole moment should be equal to the torque clear children very important definition the electric dipole moment is equal to the torque what is tau torque torque should be equal to the dipole moment when we are keeping the dipole in the field of unit intensity such that the electric dipole should makes angle 90 degrees to the electric field then only it is possible that's why here from that one what you can define electric dipole moment is nothing but torque when we are keeping the a dielectric sorry dipole in an electric field intensity of unit value in such a way that the dipole will make some angle 90 degrees with the field clear tau is equals to b so here two for two marks question it is important what is that when the torque will be maximum when the torque will be minimum tau is equals to b sin theta when the sine value is maximum when theta is equals to 90 theta is equals to 90 then sine value is maximum when sin the theta value is 0 sine value is minimum like that here when the angle between the dipole and electric field is 90 degrees then what do you write tau is maximum what do you write here two marks simple question when theta is equals to 90 degrees so theta is equals to 90 degrees what you have to say tau is maximum because sin 90 is maximum then t mag tau maximum is equals to what right pe sin 90 here sin 90 value is 1 then tau maximum is equals to what pe from that what right p is equals to tau maximum by e in this also we can write the electric dipole moment when theta is equals to 90 tau value is maximum when tau maximum what right sin 90 is equals to 1 then tau maximum is equals to p and tau maximum is equals to p dot e or p into e then p is equals to what tau maximum by e this is the formula for another formula for electric dipole moment and when the tor torque or couple will be minimum when theta is equals to 0 sin 0 clear when theta is equals to 0 in that formula tau is equals to p sin theta theta is equals to 90 then we have tau is maximum when theta is equals to 0 that means what here the electric dipole is electric dipole is in parallel to the electric field intensity direction then the torque will be zero that should be minimum now children here this is a electric dipole in uniform external field in this case you have to observe the electric field movement and electric field intensity both are in parallel then only this will be applicable so this is the information about the couple or torque formed by the dipole in an uniform electric field so up to here for intermediate examinations very very important for four marks question and now this is for additional information if the same dipole if the same dipole is in non-uniform electric field non-uniform electric field then what is the net force clear in electric field there is no net force even though there is no net force then the torque will be created so in this case look at here in, in non-uniform electric field there must be net force look here in this diagram this is the direction of electric field intensity 
what is mean by non uniform electric i mean non uniform electric field means what the value of electric field intensity should be changes from one place to the another place in which place the electric field intensity is more that should be taken as the strong region or strong field in which case the electric field intensity value is less that is the weaker field clear like that in this case i am showing that here this is a minus q charge and this is a plus q charge here minus q charge where it is weak region of the field and plus charge where it is strong field clear in case of non uniform electric field the first case is what minus q charge is placed in the weak region of the electric field and f2 should be sorry plus q charge will be placed in the strong field in this case here f2 is acting in this direction and f1 is acting in this direction i am showing here f1 is radially outwards and f f2 is radially outward f1 is radially inward then the net force should be written as here f is equals to f2 minus f1 clear now second case here this is the plus q charge initially the plus q charge in strong field now the plus q charge in weak field and minus q charge will be in strong field now in this case the net force can be written as f is equals to f1 minus f2 and the net force should be in this direction clear and for first case the net force should be here f is equals to f2 minus f1 and that should be in the direction so clear so this is about the information about the simple information about the i am writing the expressions for net forces only when the dipole is in place in non uniform electric field so children this is the information about the how the amount of net force in the elect uniform electric field how the net force is in the non uniform electric field okay children i hope you understand if you can understand this video like the video share the video and comment the video and for latest notifications you must subscribe my channel okay children we will meet in the next video with some other interesting topic bye take care